Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are looking at rates and 10-year note yields continue their decline. Since last Friday, we've seen 10-year note yields decline 20 basis points. I don't think that was really on anybody's radar. So we're talking about three and a quarter yields, maybe heading into June FOMC, maybe a little stutter step back for a bigger step forward uh, ahead of the meeting, maybe into employment. And there was really no discussion of what happens if we break 3% again to the downside and head towards 290. That just didn't seem to be on anyone's radar, at least no one that was talking out loud. And I, that's exactly what's happened here. We've seen sort of technical breakout. We're outside of that, that range above 3%. Now we're struggling to stay above 290. And I think that right now that's gonna be the, the key focus here is how low can treasury yields go ahead of either employment, ahead of June FOMC with all the all the other risks that we're seeing out there and out and about. So right now, technically, it's it's a breakout of the of the of the range we saw since we've been north of three percent, which hasn't been that long. But market got very comfortable up there and looking towards higher yields that maybe has to be put on hold for now. And you think breaking out of a range, breaking out of that comfort zone, out of the range of expectations, you would see some kind of market volatility bid. And we didn't see that. It was a it was a pretty it's been a pretty steady stream lower. Uh, since those highs were put in about you know about a week two weeks ago and it's been trending down and it didn't really trend down today it kind of traded sideways but it felt like it was a down day if it it's me it looks from from 50,000 feet like market volatility should be bidding because right now we're seeing uh, we're seeing bad positions getting squeezed out of the market we look at the the leverage funds are seeing they're, they're they're covering their shorts so this is not a trade that is going along with the program and that is the idea of why volatility bids when things don't go as expected when you see things break the trend when you see things outside of the range that's when volatility should bid so right now we're not seeing that uh and i think it's probably a little bit mispriced i would be a buyer of volatility these levels not a seller but the trend has been down so when we look at 2017 it's hard to argue that trend because it's pretty much what it did all last year. And so last, let's look ahead. What could change here? We've broken out of the range. We see volatility kind of trading sideways. We did have some key events this year. The cancellation of the North Korea U.S. summit, uh, you know, on June 12th, that got kind of scrapped for now. Uh, that creates a little bit of angst, right? You still have issues in Syria and Iran. You still have what's going on in Italy and Spain, you know, the, the debacle that is rates in Europe. And I think that uh, a lot of the U.S. economic data right now is, is not yet under questioning, but is suspect. And if you heard uh, Fed Chairman uh, Powell speak today, he wants to focus on the independence of the Fed and, and Fed President from Dallas Kaplan. He wants to look at keeping an eye on the yield curve. Those are two splendid ideas, but that's something I could have read on Wikipedia. And I think that those guys need to focus more on what's really at hand. How aggressive can the Fed raise rates if growth isn't there, if inflation goes too fast and they want to pull back on the reins a little bit to, to, to not hurt the growth aspect of the economy, what are they gonna do? And I think the market wants answers. They should get those answers at June FOMC. And that should be obviously not for another couple of weeks. We do get the May employment next week. So as rising geopolitical risks and economic risks start to filter in, we see short positions getting squeezed out of the market. We see yields declining. What can happen here? Well, you have a June employment report or May employment report coming out on June 1st. Any softness in that report is gonna exaggerate the move we're seeing right now. So right now the market is at a very precarious position. Will it continue down and head towards 280 yield or will it creep back up towards 3% ahead of June FOMC right now? I think it's very much 50-50 and we're gonna to have to get through this next week with the data and the Fed speakers and whatever to find out where we're gonna be. But June, June, middle of June, that June 13th FOMC is gonna be very, very key to looking forward to the second half of the year because right now the second half of the year while it was very clear a few months ago it's not so clear now what the fed's going to do and how the market's going to react so heading into the weekend a little bit of confusion and pullback in the treasury market this is todd colvin coming to you from the floor of the cme group